Let us all that we can to build a better future. You know, at this point, what more can I say about Bernie Sanders that hasn't been said already? No, nothing positive or nice. I mean, let's face it. I know Jimmy Dore has dragged him through the mud. RBN has definitely dragged him through the mud. Jeez Louise. Convo Couch, Nico House. Yes, we hear at Hardlands Media. But I think at the end of the day, when we see Bernie Sanders going on the campaign trail for Biden, oh, man, he's all in. He's simping. He's simping to Biden's only funds. I mean, only fans. I mean, only funds. I mean, only fans. Because Bernie's being a simp. He's being a simp. Bernie Sanders, the cuck, the spineless, nutless wonder, is a simp. He's a simp. He's a simp. And you know what? He, he, he screwed a lot of people over. Because apparently the audacity of this fool has the ability to say, oh, check it out. He's going to win. Biden. Senator Bernie Sanders on Sunday touted President Biden's accomplishments. What accomplishments, Bernie? Hey, let's have democracy in the chat. Controversial statement. What is democracy? Type one. If, oh, yeah. The Biden, the Biden accomplishments are doing great for me. I'm, I'm doing great. Bidenomics is awesome. Type two, man. Dude, stop asking this question, man. It costs $300 to go outside. I don't know how I'm going to make it past the next hour. That's how crazy things are. What accomplishments? And stress his confidence in the president's ability to win re-election as long as he runs on a... Get this. I hope you're sitting down. Bernie is saying that Biden can win as long as he runs on a strong, progressive platform. Jesus fucking Christ, Bernie. You know, I see all these stories on social media about people dealing with their exes and how they've been cheated on. But my God, man, you, you, you. You, you are a victim of domestic abuse, Bernie. I mean, at this point, Biden's going to come in there, light up a cigarette, slap you in the mouth, burn the cigarette out on you, kick you in the gut, take your wallet, and says, be sure to have more money in it tomorrow, and you being the cuck that you are, you're going to do that. Strong progressive platform. In an interview on CBS News, Face the Nation, Sanders stressed that he saw the and as the importance of running on a strong and progressive agenda and said if Democrats do so, it could guarantee that wing of the party will back Biden. Again, what, Sanders touted, touted raising Social Security benefits, expanding Medicare, and dealing with student debt as areas of priorities for his wing of the party. What? what how? And on whether Sanders okay, again, I'm so glad he didn't do this because uh, I, I I would have to do like an hour long segment about why we should not support Bernie in 2024. On whether Sanders uh, would consider a 2024 presidential run if, for any reason, Biden decided not to seek or win the nomination, Sanders declined to answer the question directly. Well, I think we spend too much time speculating, which means oh, I'll probably cuck out for the next uh, establishment uh, hack fraud. Here, you know what? It's one thing to read about it. Here. I want you guys to hear it from this cuck's mouth himself. The fact that I ever took him serious is, is, is the biggest embarrassment in my entire career of doing uh, uh, online commentary and news. Is I think what the president has got to say is give me at least 50 Democrats in the Senate. Give me control over the House of Representatives. The last time the Democrats had a supermajority, they didn't do shite, Bernie. Remember Obama? Ah, uh, it's me, Barack Obama. Uh, codifying Roe v. Wade. It's not politically smart to do because it's all about the dollars. We've got to fundraise all fear. And by 50 Democrats, I mean real Democrats, not corporate Democrats like Manchin and Cinema. And if you do that, within two or three months, we're going to reform health care to move it toward a system which guarantees health care to all people, not just huge profits for the insurance companies. We're going to lower the cost of prescription drugs so that we're not paying any more than the rest of the world. We're going to rebuild our economy. I got it. 
I perfectly got it now. Now, now I know why I'm getting enraged when I ever hear Bernie talk about Medicare or Social Security or student debt forgiveness or anything like that. You know what he sounds like? He sounds like somebody who's trying to scam you into a pyramid scheme or an MLM, a multi-level marketing scam. That's who Bernie Sanders reminds me of. And I have a long history of being angry at MLMs and pyramid schemes. I hate them. That's why. He's talking about all this stuff. Oh, yeah, you're going to make a lot of money. That's what those MLM people do. Bernie Sanders is just like that. And then I'll, I'll the audacity to say, oh, yeah, we need progressive senators uh, in, in the Democratic Party. The DNC will never do that. Since I've been doing this show, since we started in 2017, I've interviewed a lot of progressive lawmakers running for Congress, running for Senate at the state and federal level. You know what they all tell me? The Democrats are their biggest roadblock. Corporate media is their biggest roadblock, Bernie. Yeah, MLM scammer. To work for ordinary people. And I think that's got to be the message. Contrast a progressive agenda for working people versus a Republican agenda. Senator, I know you don't like to talk politics, but you're the one who went to New Hampshire, an early primary state you've done very well in over the years. You support President Biden 100%. You've made that clear. Like the cuck that he is. And by the way, I can't let these two chats go away. Mastermind Hour, one of our moderator writes, I can't understand what Bernie is saying while he's gaggling on that wang bone. Outside Steeler fan, Bernie, stop talking as if you're still on a campaign trail. And again, I think the audience here is saying, yeah, you agree. Like, he sounds like he's 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 an MLM scammer. That's that's the best way. We need to start making that trend. Bernie Sanders is that person who's trying to sucker you in into an MLM. But for any reason, if President Biden decides not to seek the Democratic nomination, is a run by Senator Sanders for the nomination on the table next year? Bob, I think we spend too much time speculating. I think President Biden is going to be uh, the nominee of the Democratic Party. And I think if he runs on a strong progressive agenda, he's not only going to win, he's going to win by a strong vote. Oh, God. Well, hold on. It gets worse. Shout out to Lewis. Oh, Bernie, just put a D beside your name already. You ain't no independent. Brace yourself, folks. In terms of the campaign that's coming, we've got to ask ourselves a very simple question. How does it happen that somebody like Donald Trump, who has been impeached twice, indicted four times, is a pathological liar? And I think most Americans understand is corrupt. But no one cares, Bernie. That's why. Trump is more popular with his mugshot. If he was any other politician, his career would be ruined. There is a real political movement behind Donald Trump. Say whatever you want about Trump, but I will not sit here and dismiss it, and I will not underestimate it. He has a strong following. What? 81 million plus people voted him in 2020. I'm willing to bet that 81 million plus are still there and growing. Trump is a mastermind in regards to how to run show business. And unlike you, Bernie, he's not going to cuck for the establishment. Now, again, Trump is like any other politician here, folks. This is an endorsement of it. But look at Trump's political movement and Bernie Sanders' political movement. Night and day. Who abandoned his people? Who abandoned his political movement? It was Bernie. Bernie for the Democratic Party. It was Bernie who did that. Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I could see it too. And I'll say, yeah, Trump is probably just as corrupt as any other politician. However, 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 Bernie, you and your fantastic friends in Washington, D.C. are no goddamn angels either. You know what? He's running even to Biden in the polls. Mm -hmm. What's that about? What is and that what's about? That about to, what's that about, to my mind, is he got millions of working class people out there who say, you know, I understand Trump is a phony, but he claims at least to be standing for us. Who cares about us? And what we have got to do, what the Democrats have got to do, is begin to engage in class politics. Oh, Bernie, man. God damn it, man. Don't Don't you get it? Like, seriously, again, he keeps repeating this stuff, but bear with us, folks. It gets it gets a little bit better. To understand that we've been in a class war now for decades, and the wrong class is winning. And they got to be clear in standing up for the working class of this country, raising the minimum wage, passing labor law legislation, making it easier for workers to join unions, reforming our health care system so that we move to a universal health care system, not of 85 million uninsured or underinsured substantially lower the cost of prescription drugs, build the affordable housing. He sounds like an MLL scammer.
like you're going to be put into a Ponzi scheme. That's what he sounds like. That's what Bernie Sanders sounds like. I didn't put it together up until now. I just, I, I just, all of a sudden, I had a lot of flashbacks in my mind when I, when uh, some jag off people tried to sucker uh, one of my family members into an MLM, and I'm like, if you don't get out of my house, what a cuck! That's who Bernie Sanders is. He, 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 he is an MLM scammer. My goodness. This, 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 is, this is who this man is. But the thing is, folks, he's always been this way. Because what he doesn't realize is that the Democratic Party is always, always going to screw him over. We're going to time travel back to 2020. We're going to play three minutes of this video. So bear with it. There's just only just a few things I want to say. Just this, this, this was probably when Kyle was still on point, or at least put on the perception he was on point. This is when Bernie Sanders was told to muzzle his own followers. Senator Bernie Sanders, whose delegates staged a racuous rebellion against Hillary Clinton at the 2016 Democratic Convention, is trying to engineer a different outcome this year by turning down the volume on his social media-driven army of 2020 delegates. The campaign of the senator from Vermont has told some supporters picked to represent him this year to sign agreements barring attacks on other candidates or party leaders, combative confrontations on social media, or talking to reporters without approval. The move, which carried a threat of being removed as a delegate, has the effect of blunting one of the most powerful, uh, if divisive, tools of Sanders' movement. It's unrestrained online presence and tendency to stoke controversy through other media, which has at times spiraled into abuse of his opponents, perceived or real. Quote, refrain from making negative statements about other candidates, party leaders, campaigns, campaign staffers, supporters, news organizations, or journalists. This campaign is about the issues and finding solutions to America's problems said the social media policy sent to some delegates, our job is to differentiate the senator from his opponents on the issues, not through personal attacks. Do your best to avoid online arguments or confrontations, the policy said. If engaging in an adversarial conversation, be respectful when addressing opposing viewpoints or commenting on the opposition. And it was right then and there. I remember when this article came out. I knew, oh, no. No, Bernie. You're not you're you're not putting a chain on, on on your followers, are you? Because I could never see Trump giving this order. I could never see Hill Dog giving this order. I can't even see Biden's handlers. I mean Biden giving this order. But Bernie is. This should be evidence enough, knowing that he was never sincere about leading a political movement. In 2016 or in 2020, he was never sincere about it, but it gets worse, folks. The agreements angered some Sanders delegates and the campaign is now working with the delegates to adjust its demands. So this is Bernie Sanders saying, I've been convinced. I believe that the media is correct when they talk about the Bernie bro narrative. And so now I'm going to try to discipline the people who are supporters of me. Bernie, your supporters, it's been proven through a data analysis that they actually mentioned in the recent Vice documentary on the Bernie blackout. Your supporters aren't any more or less hostile than the supporters of any other candidate. I also want to point out here, too, maybe this was another reason why uh, Kyle was told to sit in the corner when uh, Crystal Ball was interviewing uh, Bernie Sanders on Kyle and Crystal. Remember, remember that again, Kyle, I think, I think you learned your lesson. That's why he's now looking like a uh, dime store version of one of the backstreet boy rejects. You have more supporters online. So sometimes it might feel like that, but that's just because you have more supporters. It's the same percentage of Kamala supporters and Warren supporters and Biden supporters who do and say the same things. 
dog, it's the internet. It's how it works. It's how it goes. Now, I'm no fan of Twitter beef. I think people are totally wasting their time if they're fighting on Twitter, and they should probably stop and do something more productive. But you're drafting agreements? You're trying to come up with like a contract or something and you're trying to discipline your people. Okay, listen, I got news for Bernie Sanders and everybody knows I love Bernie with all my heart. I would have given my right leg for him to become president of the United States. No, you don't, because a few years later down the road, you become a cuck and uh, tell Dr. Cornell West to not run third party. I know. I know. Shocking. Shocking. What whatever happened to this guy? Whatever happened to this guy? So what can we take away from this, folks? Well, Bernie Sanders is simping for Biden and the Democrats. He's simping for the establishment. He's simping for uh, those that uh, helped create this neoliberal nightmare. So every time Bernie Sanders talks about being a hero or, dare I say it, you doing the right thing and supporting Democrats, just remember, he is the false shepherd. And because he's the false shepherd, I want to end this segment with Jesse Jett. Don't worry, the show still goes on, but this is a perfect way to sum up the Ponzi scheme, MLM, pyramid scheme, scammer, Senator, the cuck, spineless, nutless wonder, Bernie Sanders. If you fool me once, it's because I didn't think a guard was needed. If you fool me twice, it's because I didn't learn the lesson, so it bears repeating. If you try the same play three times running, it's because you know what's coming, and you didn't come to lead, you came to purposefully be misleading. Democracy is dry. It's been a century bleeding. The husk is gaping open to the sky out in the field where all the sheep just keep on circling and worrying and bleeding. They're waiting for the shepherd that they've tried to hide their faith in, but he's so appealing. They'd gladly give their fleece. It's such a freeing feeling that even when he leads them to the ledge and starts to urge them on, they're positively beaming. They were told that they were on their way to save democracy, so even as they plummet, they just gloat. They don't consider screaming. And halfway up the cliff, the shepherd's cozy little mittens wrap around the staff of shattered human hopes on which he's leaning. He shows the gentle grin that used to stir your inner spark, and he says, not me, us, as he gestures to the oligarchs. He knows that if he runs, they're going to stop him like a stolen car. And he'll easily surrender because it bought a lot of time for laying mines in all the grassroots. Suddenly, the tiniest of movements gets you blown apart. Suddenly, you're in a play that's set on an election day and voting for the fire unaware you're playing Joan of Arc. Suddenly, the shepherd pulls the rug and slips a hood across your clueless mug and everything goes zero dark. I'm going to warn you once more before it's 2024 and you fuck around and find out who your heroes are to take a step back from the herd and you'll learn that you can spot who all the shearers are. If you really want to know the product that they're selling, I can take you where the mirrors are. If you think your voice is finally ready, I can tell you where the lyrics are. I hid them in a box I had to bury neath the cobble when they carpet bombed the promenade and raided all the street bazaars. Now all we've got's the marketplace, and you're too broke to even bother asking what the options for your treatment are. Suddenly, the raw debris of homeless human dignity will find it has a hundred teeth for every badge and sweeper's arm. Suddenly, they speak in solidarity, and each is armed. Suddenly, the sheep can see the shepherd for his truest form, and all pitch in at once to help him buy the farm. And now it's zero dark. And all is calm and peaceful, save the distant wail of sirens that approach beside the flames of dawn. Suddenly, the carrot's just a string that's on a stick, and all your movements make you sick because the prize is gone. Now, we could go and flee into the forest low and meek, or we could exercise our right to feast and go and graze on Biden's lawn. Because he's been sowing seeds that seep a toxin out to sap a bit from each of us and keep on leeching decades after Biden's gone. So regardless who they summon out of hell to come and do the job, it will not feel like Biden's gone. But in that time of hopelessness, you cannot trust the shepherd when he once again comes asking you to humor him his siren song. And it's cute that you can innocently, honestly assume that's just a symptom of a system that was wired wrong and not the standard feature, basic function, primary objective of a mass hypnosis firebomb. You don't need to know the words to cry along. Someday it'll hit you like an officer who pistol whipped their ride along.
Broke his jaw and kept his job and kept it moving right along. That voting isn't red or blue or black or white or right or wrong. Voting's like a firing squad where you can choose the firearm. It's slow extinction by and large. It's Super Tuesday supercharged. It's all your futures, roots and all, just tossed out on a garbage barge. It's everybody dropping out to push the biggest oligarch. It's everybody voting fire, registered as Joan of Arc. That's a perfect way to end it. Bernie Sanders is a fraud. Always has been.